Well, hey, TGP family, thank you so much for tuning into this daily devotional. Uh, I want to hop right into it. We're going to go right to Mark chapter 7. And so I'm going to read uh, verse 1 through verse 8. And it says this, Now when the Pharisees gathered to him with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, they saw that some of the disciples ate with their hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands properly, holding to the tradition of the elders. And when they came, uh, excuse me, when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And there are many other traditions that they observe, such as the washing of cups and pots and copper vessels and dining uh, couches. And the Pharisees and the scribes ask him, why why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he said to them, well, did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. You leave the commandment of God and hold to the tradition of man. Let's just pray quick. Father, thank you so much for your word. I pray, God, that your word would speak into our hearts and lives and transform us, make us more like you, Jesus, so that we can uh, just be what you want us to be, holy, sanctified, set apart, to glorify and honor you all the days of our life. We love you, Lord, and say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So right here, who are our players? Right off the bat, we're, we're seeing that there's Pharisees and scribes. Now, the scribes are essentially copiers of the scriptures, um, but they've begun to get into the public scene and they're being a little more known. And the Pharisees, on the other hand, they considered themselves as teachers of the Jewish tradition. For both of these groups, they'd really become proud in their hearts uh, with keeping with these Jewish traditions and these rituals. They saw themselves as keepers, promoters, and defenders of the rituals, believing that it was of these rituals that made people holy. So they were kind of getting this disconnected, disjointed reality of what Scripture is and what it's supposed to mean and what it's supposed to do for us and in our lives. They were holding to it as like law and this is how you, you need to live in order to be holy. It's, it wasn't so much about a relationship with God as it was just do this stuff. Now, in addition to the scribes and the Pharisees, we also see that there's the disciples. And the disciples were your average guys that were living with Jesus, which is just so cool. Learning from Jesus, uh, doing mission with Jesus. Well, they were just trying to hang out and eat some food. And obviously, last and not least, uh, Jesus is on the scene in this text. Jesus is God's son. So what's happening here? What is happening in this passage? Well, these Pharisees and these scribes are calling, well, they're going to Jesus and they're calling out the disciples for eating with unclean hands. It wasn't to say that their hands were necessarily dirty. It's just that they didn't go through the ritual the motion of like washing their hand before they eat. So right off the bat, and this is what's pretty cool, I love what Jesus does. He doesn't waste any time. Here's these religious men calling these guys out because they just didn't like do the law. And Jesus, right off the bat, verse six, and he says, well, did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites? He calls them hypocrites, which is pretty a powerful word. And basically, all in all, um, this is meaning somebody that is wearing, um, it's almost like they're on a stage and they're acting or they're wearing a mask. And these guys were, that were trying to be keepers of the law were really just basically being fakes, wearing masks and quoting memorized lines. And their hearts weren't with God. Like, it just wasn't right. And I think that as, well, Jesus goes on and he says, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines of commandments of men. 
not of God. It, it didn't have to do with the Lord. It was just of them for their glory. And I think that there is something uh, really great for us to take note of here. Jesus is reminding us of how important it is for us to have a genuine and authentic relationship with God. There is no point in being someone else or even having a faith um, or using faith and the Bible to make us look good. There's just no point. And I think that sometimes for us as believers, as Christians, we can get to this place where we're living a faith that isn't necessarily stemming from the heart, but it's like we're doing what we know, almost ritualistically, going through the motions and holding to those motions or those rituals as like the thing that is most important. And perhaps for us today, uh, we might even be looking at our lives and the way we live and realizing um, that we sometimes pretend to be good Christian people and we pretend to say good godly things and we might do this to impress people. We might do it to flex on other people, make ourselves feel stronger, make ourselves feel more important, or even make ourselves feel better. Now, just a question, have you ever posted a, a scripture verse on your social media? Um, and ultimately, like at the root of it, it was to make yourself look good or attract you know, some attention from spiritual people, um, make yourself look good in the eyes of other people. I know I have. I know that I have used God's word as something to just increase my fame and my glory as I like have lived my life and, and have you know, tried to honor him. Like I've also used it for my own self. It's just how we are as people. So this is exactly what the Pharisees and the scribes were doing. They've gotten to a place where they're just going through the ritual. They're holding it over people's heads and it's become the most important thing. It's not about a relationship with God. Now you see, God knows our hearts and he desires the real us, not the fake us, not the one that prepares to go up on a stage or puts on a fake mask or one that just uses scripture to make ourselves look good on social media or whatnot. God knows our hearts and we can totally see that in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse seven. It reminds us that the Lord looks at the heart. The Lord sees what's going on inside of us to our very depths. He knows what's happening. Jesus, like we see right here in this passage with the Pharisees and the scribes, he's not fooled by the actors or the people using his word to get more likes or get more fame. So my encouragement to us today is let us learn from this passage of scripture. Let us uh, see that, you know, here are the, the um, disciples those following Jesus, they're just being real guys. They're spending time with Jesus. They're learning from Jesus. They're doing Jesus' work. They're being real. They're not caught up in this moment in just going through the motions. Here were these other guys that were fake. They were using Old Testament ritual and law to just flex on other people. And they were like, obviously looming that over a lot of other people more than just the disciples. I think that we can learn from this. I think that what we see from Jesus is that we can be reminded to honor Jesus and to honor the Lord with our lips, but more importantly, to honor the Lord and to honor Jesus with our hearts. When we honor him with our hearts, we will honor him with everything that we do, even our social media posts. Guys, I hope that today just a simple look into Mark chapter 7 has been an encouragement to you. Um, I know that it was an encouragement to me to evaluate what are the important things in my faith walk and my faith journey. Do I just honor the Lord with the motions or with words from my lips? Or do I honor the Lord with my heart? Do I give him my heart in everything? Do I ask, Lord, help me not to stand on the stage and just act. Help me not to put on a mask and be fake, but Lord, help me to be real because Jesus, he's, Jesus is calling it out right here, real life. So that's my encouragement to you guys today um, to not just honor the Lord with your lips, 
but to live it with your hearts. And uh, everything else will come into line from that. If you guys are looking for any more information on the book of Mark, you can go right into the uh, library on um, YouTube. And there's some uh, more um, devotionals on the book of Mark and also a survey in the New Testament regarding the book of Mark. God bless you guys. It's so, so good to share God's word with you today. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. God bless.